Hi kids! Today we will learn how we can multiply decimal numbers. So let's start. We have to multiply 45 and 2.5, where 45 is a whole number and 2.5 is a decimal number. Let's see how we do it. First, we will consider the decimal number as a whole number and do the simple multiplication. Multiplying 45 with 25, we got 1,125. Now, our decimal number was 2.5. We have to see how many digits we have in a decimal number. Here we have only one digit after decimal point. So, put decimal in our answer, which is 1125, after one digit from right. So, put in decimal after one digit from right, we get the answer. So, our answer is 112.5. Now let's take another example. We have to multiply 233 with 6.80, where 233 is a whole number and 6.80 is a decimal number. Let's see how we do it. First, we will consider the decimal number as a whole number. 6.80 and 6 point are one and the same thing. So take it as 6.8 and consider 6.8 as 68. And then do the simple multiplication. We will get 15,844. Now our decimal number was 6.8. We have to see how many digits we have in the decimal number. Here again, we have only one digit after the decimal number. So, put decimal in our answer. So, 1584.4 is our answer. Now you can put commas in your answers too. Put a comma after three digits from right in the whole number part. So we will put comma after five, as four, eight, five are the three digits from right. Now let's take another example. We will multiply 44.5 with 3.45. Here, both the numbers are decimal one. Let's see how we do it. First of all, consider both the decimal numbers as whole numbers and do the simple multiplication. That is, take 44.5 as 445 and take 3.45 as 345 and do the simple multiplication. Multiplying 445 with the 345, we will get 153,525. Now it's time to put decimal in it. Our decimal number were 44.5 and 3.45. And we have to see how many digits in total we had in both the decimal numbers after decimal point. We have three digits in total after the decimal points, one in 44.5 and two digits in 3.45. So we will put that decimal in our answer, which is 153525. After three digits from right, so this is our answer. 
153,525. So kids, isn't it simple? You just have to multiply the decimal number as whole number. And later on, count the number of digits in total you have in decimal number. After the decimal point, and put decimal in the product after the digits you counted from right. Now let's solve one more problem. We have to multiply 356.50 by 3.45. Let's do it. We have to do first, we have to consider this number as whole numbers. Consider 356.50 as 3565 and 0.50 and 0.5 is one and the same thing. Zeros or the rightmost zeros in a decimal number does not matter. Consider 3.45 as 345. Now multiply these numbers. That is, multiply 3, 5, 6, 5 with 3, 45. And here we have the product. Now, count the number of decimal places, that is, count the number of digits in total, in both the number that exists after the decimal point. We have one digit in 3, 56.5 and two digit in 3.45. So, we will put decimal after three digits from right in the product. So, putting decimal after three digits from right, 1229.925 is our answer. And we can put commas too after three digits from right in the whole number. That is, we will put commas here and we pronounce it as 1,229.925. So kids, today we learned how we can multiply decimal numbers with whole numbers and decimal numbers with decimal numbers. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.